Alpine and Otro Capital have received an enthusiastic welcome from some of the world's most prominent sports stars, who have joined their $201 million fund as new strategic investors. So get ready for a groundbreaking collision of sports titans. Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, star players for the Kansas City Chiefs, have teamed up with the Alpine Formula One team as investors. As F1 fever surges in the United States, the investment powerhouse, Otro Capital, has officially introduced Mahomes and Kelsey into its exclusive ownership group. Before we move ahead, just quickly subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to never miss an update. And now, let's dive into the news that has taken the F1 fandom by storm. Yes, you heard that right. Kansas City Chiefs star players Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey are not only making waves on the football field during the 2023 season, but also off it. And their latest venture is as investors in the Formula One team Alpine Racing LTD. They've joined the esteemed Otro Capital Investment Group, which recently acquired Alpine in June by purchasing a 24% stake in the F1 team, amounting to an investment of over $200 million. See, uh, I know Veach is a big, big F1 guy, so maybe he'll let me cruise around the track at least once, but I don't know if they'll, the cars cost a little bit of money, so I don't know if they'll let me do that. The deal valued the British-based team at around $900 million. These prominent athletes are not the sole celebrity investors in the Alpine F1 team. Earlier in the year, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, who also own the English soccer club Wrexham AFC, joined the endeavour. The latest round of investments saw participation from notable figures such as PGA Tour star Rory McElroy, former heavyweight champion boxer Anthony Joshua, Spanish soccer sensation Juan Mata, and Liverpool footballer Trent Alexander-Arnold. In their respective statements, the NFL superstars expressed their enthusiasm for this new venture, highlighting their intention to promote shared values on the global stage and contribute to the growth of the sport. Patrick Mahomes expressed his enthusiasm for this new business venture, as he said to the media, I've always had a passion for all sports. The opportunity to lead an investor group with Travis in Alpine F1 alongside Otro Capital was one I couldn't pass up. It's an exciting time for the sport, and this is an opportunity to bring our shared values to the world stage. I'm looking forward to being a part of its growth. Travis Kelsey echoed these sentiments, expressing his enthusiasm about investing in the team. I am thrilled to lead an investor group and join forces with Patrick and the team at Otro Capital on this exciting venture with Alpine F1. Our shared passion for excellence and innovation forms the cornerstone of this partnership. It's about being able to contribute to a sport that demands precision, teamwork and relentless pursuit of success. I am looking forward to this new chapter and can't wait to see what we achieve together. Meanwhile, co-founder of Ultro Capital, Alex Shiner, also didn't hold back from expressing his gratitude, saying, We are honored at Ultro Capital to be joined by this particular group of investors into our Alpine F1 investment in partnership with Redbird, Capital Partners and Maximum Effort Investments. These are best-in-class investors, athletes, entertainers and entrepreneurs, and they are all committed to elevating the Alpine F1 team. However, despite the initial celebration and excitement, Alpine's aspirations seem to be hinging on Mahomes and Kelsey infusing a championship-winning ethos into the team. As of now, the team occupies the sixth position in the 2023 constructor standings, trailing behind McLaren and Aston Martin in fifth and fourth place, respectively. Their drivers, Pierre Gasly and Esteban Ocon, are closely ranked at 11th and 12th place in the driver standings. In recent years, Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey have become two of the most recognizable faces in the NFL. Mahomes stands as the topmost quarterback in the NFL today, a reigning league MVP and Super Bowl champion. In his relatively short career, Mahomes has shattered multiple NFL records, and with a decade or more ahead of him, the possibilities for claiming additional Super Bowl rings and MVP awards are boundless, given that he is just 28 years old. Kelsey, equally outstanding in his position, has been instrumental in helping the Chiefs maintain their current reign, as ever since his return, 
the Chiefs have remained undefeated and currently lead the AFC West. Recently, the popularity of the Kansas City tight end has soared after his appearances on Saturday Night Live and a high-profile romance with singer-songwriter Taylor Swift. He is a two-time Super Bowl champion, even defeating his brother, Jason Kelser, a center for the Philadelphia Eagles in the 2022 Super Bowl. And now, this football dynamic duo is embracing a fresh challenge, venturing into the world of F1 with the goal of expanding the Alpine brand. The debut of Alpine with Mahomes and Kelsey as owners will coincide with the 2023 United States Grand Prix in Austin, Texas on Sunday. Members of this investment team will have the crucial task of elevating global awareness for Alpine F1. They will also complement Otro Capital's efforts in various areas, including media, sponsorship, ticketing, hospitality, commercial rights management, licensing, and merchandising. Let's take a look at the other members of this star-studded cast of Alpine investors. Fresh from his recent Ryder Cup triumph with Team Europe in Italy, Rory McIlroy, who hails from Northern Ireland and embarked on his professional golf journey in 2007, boasts an impressive track record. The 34-year-old has claimed the PGA Championship title twice, secured victory at the US Open and clinched the Open Championship. He also gave a statement, passion for excellence on the golf course has led me to admire the same pursuit in Formula One. Partnering with Otro Capital in Alpine F1 is an exhilarating venture that unites my love for sports, competition, and the relentless drive to be the best. Anthony Joshua, a two-time world heavyweight champion in the sport of boxing, initially ascended to this esteemed title with a remarkable victory over the legendary Vladimir Klitschko in 2017. After a series of thrilling battles, he lost and then reclaimed his belts in a rematch with Andy Ruiz Jr., only to later concede them to the current reigning champion, Oleksandr Usyk. Joshua expressed his delight to be joining the team of investors, stating, the chance to strategically invest with Otro Capital in Alpine was an opportunity I couldn't ignore. The heritage of the team, mixed with the global growth of Formula One as a sport and brand, made this a very serious proposition. I am excited to start this journey with Otro and a great group of fellow investors and hope to help the team achieve its full potential. Also joining this exceptional group of investors are Roger Ehrenberg, founder of Eberg Capital and an investor in the Miami Marlins and Real Salt Lake, as well as footballer Juan Mata, who is a well-known figure in households. The 35-year-old saw glory at an international level by winning both the World Cup and the European Championships with his home country, Spain. His club career was equally illustrious, capturing titles like the FA Cup, Champions League and Europa League during his tenure at Chelsea before making a move to Manchester United. Trent Alexander-Arnold stands out as one of the most gifted footballers in his generation. This Liverpool right-back has achieved a remarkable collection of club accolades that many footballers can only aspire to in their dreams, proudly securing titles in the Premier League, Champions League, FA Cup and League Cup. I'm excited to be joining Otro Capital's group as an investor into Alpine F1 along with my brother Tyler. Having been to Formula One races as a fan, I love the high-pressure environment of the paddock and I've seen firsthand how incredibly impressive the Alpine team is. Our shared goal as an investment group is to help contribute to its continued success on the grid at a time when F1 is facing incredible growth as a sport. As a footballer, I understand the importance of teamwork, innovation, and determination in achieving goals. Since Renault's re-entry into the world of Formula One in 2017, the team has faced an uphill battle in their pursuit of victories and championship titles. The team underwent a rebranding in 2021, adopting the name Alpine. During that year's Hungarian Grand Prix, Esteban Ocon secured a significant victory, yet the team has encountered difficulties in replicating that success since then. Otro Capital, in a recent statement, expressed its optimism that the influx of new investments will strengthen Alpine's potential to become a formidable contender in the future. While it remains to see how their luck will play out, you can make sure you never miss any latest news by subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.